if you want to make up to $84,000 a year working remotely as an associate software developer at General Dynamics, then you have to check out this opportunity I'm going to talk about today. Go ahead and check the description below of the video and you can find the link to the job application down there. While you're down there, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter. Every single week I send out job opportunities like this one. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about three different job opportunities that I think you should take advantage of today. So this very first role of an associate software developer at General Dynamics IT. General Dynamics is a defense contractor. You can check out their website, this General Dynamics Information Technology, by going to gdit.com slash careers. Their associate software developer role was posted on August 10th, 2023. At the top of the descriptions, you can see this is a full-time role. It does not require security clearance. Some of the job qualifications for this role include Java, Kanban, and Agile methodology. As you can see here, there are zero years of experience required. This role does require you to be a U.S. citizen, though. I know some of you guys are from all over the world, but this role is specifically for U.S. citizens. Down here, they actually list some of the different responsibilities that you'll have in the role. You're going to be using Java, Golang, C++. They also mention SQL as the database programming language that you'll be using. Other desired skill that they list, Unix, Linux, uh, Scrum, Kanban, Jira for project management. Now, real quick, they also list the salary range for this position. It starts at around $56,000 and goes all the way up to $84,000. They do put a statement in here saying, hey, there's no guarantee that this is the exact salary you'll get. And the salary that you get will correlate to the years of experience that you have for the role. Although this role does not require any experience, obviously, the more experience that you do have, the more ability you do have to negotiate a higher salary. But that's it for this associate software developer role. The next role, number two, I wanted to hit on real quick. Uh, PayPal actually has a product manager role for recent college graduates. By the way, my name is Andrew Baines, and I am the host of the Custom Journeys podcast. If you don't know, I'm an engineer with over 10 years of experience. I've now pivoted into the recruiting space, and my goal is to help you all have a successful STEM career. So if it's anything science, tech, engineering, or math related, my goal is to help you all be as successful as possible, make as much money as you can, have the career you want, and live the life you desire. If this content is interesting to you, subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned. Also, be sure to like the video. That does a lot to help boost engagement and help the YouTube algorithm know that you guys and others may enjoy this type of content. So PayPal has a product manager role that's specifically for recent college graduates. They do identify four different cities that this role is ideally intended for. San Jose, California, Chicago, Illinois, Scottsdale, Arizona, New York City, and then also Austin, Texas. So if you reside in any one of those cities and you are interested in a product manager role, highly encourage you all to check it out. So if you scroll down here to the basic requirements, they kind of list the different things that they're looking for an individual to have. Again, SQL, I kind of hit on that in the, the previous role, but if you have experience with data analytics or databases, using SQL, using R, using Hive, those are all really good skill sets to have that can kind of help prepare you for these roles that we're talking about today. If you have the ability to write scripts, that's preferred for this individual role. The other thing, since this is listed as a recent college graduate opportunity, they do require that you must have graduated within the past 12 months or will be graduating by spring of 2024 with a bachelor's or a master's degree in computer science or some technical career field or some STEM field. They don't list the pay for this role, but I still think you guys should check it out. For the cybersecurity folks that are tuning in, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. So last but not least, we have a tier one SOC analyst that is available at Accenture. This role is listed for individuals that are located in San Antonio, Texas. If we scroll down here, they actually list some of the qualifications six months of experience, a bachelor's degree in some STEM field, and a Security Plus certification are the primary requirements for this role. They do also list some nice-to-have, such as Splunk Sim, Splunk Soar, Microsoft Defender. If you have these qualifications, you guys definitely need to take a shot at this role. Although this role is listed in San Antonio, Texas, they do actually list the pay ranges for similar roles in other states and other cities. So if you're in California, this role will pay somewhere between sixty-seven dollars and $104,000. Colorado, New York, and Washington, they also list the pay ranges for those roles as well. So from that, you can kind of estimate how much this role may pay in San Antonio, in my opinion, purely my opinion, it'll probably be somewhere less than California, probably closer to Colorado pay range, but definitely apply for the role. Hopefully you guys get a chance to, you know, talk to the recruiter, get in front of them. One thing I did want to point out, I know this role requires a security plus certification. I have a treat for you guys. 
I'm actually working on a partnership with CompTIA. If you're not familiar with CompTIA, they offer a bunch of different certification options. So for Security Plus in particular, um, you can go on here to comptia.org and you can go to trainings, you can go to testing, whichever one you're ready for. But for the Security Plus, since we're talking about that real quick, they have different bundle options on here. So if you wanted to pay for just the exam, you can buy an individual exam voucher for $392, that's the regular price. Or if you want to buy the exam and a retake voucher, that's $565. They also have some study material in here that you can buy, study guides. If you were to buy that bundle, that would be $720, but that's the regular price. I'm going to give you all the hookup, the custom journeys discount. So I've been partnering with CompTIA, and they actually provided a promo code for you guys. So let's say you want to pay $392 for the individual exam voucher. If you click on buy now, so the regular price is $392, but I have a promo code for you. If you guys use the promo code UNLOCK2023, you will actually get 15% off of your purchase. So in that case, let's say you're just buying the Security Plus voucher. Instead of paying $392, you would actually only have to pay $333.20. So you save about $59. So I hope you guys take advantage of that. I know some of you guys are in the cybersecurity space. I don't want you guys paying full price if you don't need to. So... I hope you guys take advantage of that. Those are three great opportunities. Tune in next week where I'll have another great podcast interview. And also I'll be going over some unique jobs in STEM. So that's it. Peace out, people. Have a good week.